it is November 6th and I am back filling for November 4th because I have had a very, very busy couple days and I have gotten zero words done and that is because I have a new niece. The last couple months I have been spending almost every weekend over at my sister's. Um, she's kind of had a uh, difficult pregnancy, um, been on bed rest for most of it, and it's very difficult to be on bed rest when you have a busy toddler. So <laughs> um, I helped take care of the 18 month old and also keep track of my sister and how she was feeling and stuff while her husband was at work. So on November 4th at 1 a.m., my father came into my bedroom and handed me the phone and said, it's your sister, she's in labor. And I talked with her and I got myself out of bed and suddenly I was very wide awake, <laughs> even despite the fact that it was one o'clock in the morning. Um, so I drove down to her house and um, she and her husband left for the hospital while I just kept track of the 18 month old who was still sleeping. And in the morning when she woke up, I took her over to the hospital. Um, the labor did not progress as quickly as we expected, so it took quite a while. My sister was in labor for 16 hours and it was unmedicated, so she was freely a trooper. She was amazing, um, despite the fact that it was pretty intense. Um, and toward the end of it, I took the toddler back home to take a nap and also to not be there during the active part of the labor so that she wouldn't be distressed to see her mother in pain because she's a very sensitive and caring, compassionate little girl. So um, later on, the parents gave the call, said that the new niece had arrived, so we came over and it was so adorable seeing my two nieces get to meet each other for the first time. The 18 month old to realize, oh, Bibi! It was really cute. <laughs> um, and then later on, you know, I just pretty much took care of the toddler while the parents were um, dealing with all the follow-up with the birth and the new baby. And this new baby is adorable. She looks nothing like her sister, but she definitely does have the genes of both mom and dad. I mean, it's obvious the two sides of the family are represented there, but she does not look like anything like her sister, which will be fun to watch them grow up and express their different personalities and features. There was an interesting situation. Later on in the day, I took the toddler home to sleep overnight while her parents and the baby stayed at the hospital. And the toddler, when she realized that mama was not coming, she was not happy about that. Mama, mama, where mama? She wasn't really screaming, but she was definitely whimpering. And she got herself so upset that she puked all over herself and the car seat. And I'm just sitting there driving like, oh my word, can it get any more ridiculous? And I'm laughing because I... You know, I can't do anything. I gotta drive. <laughs> so I got her home and she was very sad that she had puked all over herself, but I told her that she could go in some bubbles and I'd clean her up. And she definitely perked up when she heard the word bubbles because she loves her baths. So um, I got her all cleaned up and I calmed her down and she felt good and got her in bed and it worked out just fine. And she was happy enough the next day. So we didn't have any more um, incidents. <laughs> Um, so one of the things that guided my decisions during the day was I made the conscious decision not to write my NaNoWriMo project. And that was because, number one, I wanted to be fully available and alert to what was going on um, and whatever needs people might have of me. And the other thing was I didn't want to be I didn't want to be distracted from the real story. And the real story is life. And so when you can't be writing a story, I believe you should be living a story. You should be making the best possible story with your life. And so I was fully present in the situation and deliberately not distracted by any of my personal goals and projects. And I was absorbing every detail and enjoying the moment fully. And I think in the long run, that's really going to be the best thing for everybody. And I think that's the best thing for the story because my life needs to tell a story as much as my pages do. <laughs> 